Hello everyone, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a natural cut crease look that pairs well with really any occasion. So if you want to see how to recreate this look in yourself, then just keep on watching. To begin, I'm going to start with a freshly washed face and we'll jump right into skin prep. I'm using the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner on a Shiseido cotton pad and I'm going to wipe it all over my face to get rid of any excess oil or makeup. Next, I'm going to apply a pump of Claire's Serum. It easily absorbs into my skin and immediately makes it feel softer and replenished. If you have extremely dry lips like myself, then I would highly recommend the Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask. It's so moisturizing, I use it every day and it has literally changed my life. In addition to having dry lips, I also have really dry skin, so I like to make sure it's hydrated at all times and I'm using the Aveeno Moisturizer. I'm going to add even more hydration by applying the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil and massage it generously into my skin. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I've been loving this product so much. If you want to see an updated brow tutorial from me, then please let me know in the comment section below. Now time for eyes. I'm applying Sigma's Eyeshadow Base Primer in Persuade all over my eyelid to ensure everything stays in place and doesn't crease. For today's look, I'll be using Beauty Bird's Dream Palette in collaboration with Sigma. I love the variety of shades in this palette and the neutrals are so pretty. To begin, I'm picking up the color Frenchie on an E60 brush and will apply it all over my lid to set the primer. For the transition shade, I'm picking up the color Boo Boo on an E25 brush. I like to stamp on the color first, then blend with whatever's remaining to create more of a natural finish. Make sure to really take your time with this step and blend, blend, blend. Pro tip, take a clean blending brush and continue to blend the eyeshadow to make sure there are no harsh lines. If you have hooded eyelids like me, then detail brushes are a must. I'm using the L06 brush to outline the cut crease with concealer, then let's fill in with even more concealer. I love me some gold and shimmer, so I'm picking up the color Milagro on an E57 brush and I'm going to apply that right on top of the concealer. I wanted the cut crease to have a little more definition, so I'm going in with the same transition shade on an E17 brush. As you can see, I'm just ever so slightly sweeping that shade on the crease and then I'm going to blend it out with an L04. I wanted to add a little more dimension to this look, so I'm picking up this beautiful chocolate brown shade called Woof Woof on an E30 brush, and same technique here, pat on the color and then blend. So I like to use two products to create the perfect wing liner. The first one is a liquid liner to create the outline. Then I'll go back in with a pen liner to fill in the gaps. Now let's curl the lashes and apply some waterproof mascara. As always, I'll be applying my favorite Ardell Demi Wispies with the House of Lashes adhesive. Remember to wait for the glue to get tacky and then apply directly on your eyeliner. Today I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to create an even layer before foundation. Can I just say that I love this foundation so much. It has SPF and is full coverage, and as you can see it's doing an amazing job covering my freckles and breakouts. Next I'm going to spot conceal with the P87 brush. I just dab on a little product right onto the breakout and then blend around it to make sure everything looks seamless. And then I also really like the edge of this brush to clean around the brows. For concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter in Medium 20 and I really like the full coverage formulation of this product. I'm also going to highlight the high points of my face with this concealer.
It's important to lock all of your hard work in place, so I'm going to apply my trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder with my Beauty Blender. I just like to go ahead and press that right into the skin to make sure everything is set and beautiful. Now let's bronze up the face with the Benefit Cheek Parade palette. I'm dipping my F30 brush in Hoola Light and applying that in the hollows of my cheeks, underneath my chin, and the tops of my forehead. Using the F40 and Hoola bronzer, I'm going to contour my face in the same areas. I thought it would be fitting to wear a peachy blush with this look, so I'm going to apply my Nature Republic blush right on the apples of my cheeks. Let's get glowing with the MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette. I'm mixing both shades on an F35 and applying it to my cheekbones. I'm going back into Hoola Light with an E70 brush to contour my nose. Lightly dab on the product and then blend away. Don't forget to highlight the tip of your nose. To finish off my eyes, I'm taking Boo Boo on an L04 brush and sweeping it on the bottom lash line. Then highlight the inner corners with Libra. So in order to have more control when applying mascara to my bottom lashes, I like to use the EO4 brush and as you can see here, I can easily just paint on the product and it's super easy and clean. So moving on to the lips, I'm going to be using Strip Down for MAC. Feel free to use a liner that's similar to your lip color and go ahead and line and fill in the lips. My go-to neutral lip color combo is Knock on Wood and Supernatural from Dose of Colors. First apply an even layer of Knock on Wood. Then stamp on Supernatural and blend it out with your finger. Last but not least, make sure to set your makeup so it stays on all day. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And just like that, you have a natural cut crease glam that's perfect for every day. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment or video suggestion below. Thank you so much for watching and I will chat with you soon.